Hello, this is Amir Hussain from Sunny2 and in this video we are going to delete the demo data after installing the PrestaShop 1.7. As we talked about it in previous videos, the demo data only use is to help you understand and see the structure of a real store created by PrestaShop. So when we are going to start our shop, the first step is to delete all the demo data and set up our own content. These demo contents are some products, categories, orders, carriers, customers, static pages, banners, sliders, etc. How can we delete them? Earlier there was a default PrestaShop module named Database Cleaner or PrestaShop Cleaner. Using this module, we could clean the demo data from our shop. But on March 2021, PrestaShop announced that they have abandoned several modules and Database Cleaner is one of them. So right now, all of them are archived because they want to focus on more important modules. Since then, we have the option not to install the demo data in the installation process of PrestaShop, which I suggest you do. Just select No here. But if we install the demo products, we need to delete them manually or with the archived module. I mean the abandoned one, PrestaShop Cleaner. The only problem with deleting demo content manually is that PrestaShop does not let you delete orders and payments because it's illegal in some countries, especially in Europe. And if PrestaShop had this option, it would render PrestaShop illegal in those countries. So to delete them orders, we have three options. Using a module, deleting them with a query via database, not recommended though, as there are several tables containing information of an order, or just canceling those orders, also not recommended. Here, in this video, we are going to use the database cleaner module to see if it still works. Google PS Cleaner PrestaShop module and this GitHub link is the result we are looking for. Click on that link and double check to make sure it is the official PrestaShop GitHub repository. As you can see this module has been archived and it's no longer maintained. To download this module or any other module from the GitHub you need to follow these steps. Click the code button and download the zip to your system. Unzip this file, go inside that folder and find the main PHP file of this module. For this module, this is pscleaner.php. Copy its name without PHP, go back to the main folder, see this folder has a different name. For a module in PrestaShop to work, the folder name and the main PHP file of that module should have the exact same name. So this folder has some extra characters hyphen dev. We must rename this folder to match the PHP file. Now we should zip this file and now we can install it on our PrestaShop. The zip file should look like this, a folder and inside that folder these files. To install the module on PrestaShop 1.7 go to modules, module manager, click upload the module, select file, select the zip you just created, click open and when the module is installed click configure. So far so good. This module has four options. Be really careful with this tool. There is no possible rollback after using these options unless you have a full backup of your store. Of course this is the demo data we are deleting but if you have data on your shop and use this tool all of them will be deleted permanently with no chance of rollback unless you have a full backup. The first one is to delete the catalog. Read this first. Product, categories, brands, images, prices, everything related to the catalog will be removed from your database permanently. So only use this tool for demo data. Change this to yes and click delete catalog. Once you click OK, the catalog should be cleaned. Before we do this, let's check the catalog. Here, products, categories, attributes and features, brand and suppliers. You see here we have some products, categories, attributes and features and brands. If I go back to the module, click delete catalog and click OK, we receive a message saying catalog truncated. Well, let's see if it's true. Go to the product page, refresh, no products, no categories, no features, no attributes, and no brands. So it worked. Next option is deleting orders and customers. 
Also, read this text that it removes customers, carts, orders, connections, guests, messages, stats, everything related to orders and customers. Click yes and click delete order and customers. Oh, you see that there is no confirmation for this one, so be really careful about this. So we receive a message saying orders and customers are truncated. Let's check that. Orders and customers. Okay, great. No orders and no customers. So this module still works in version 1.7.7.3. At the end, click check and fix to refine your database integrity constraints and click clean and optimize to reorganize the physical storage of table data and associated index data to reduce storage space and improve IO efficiency when accessing the tables. So far, we have cleaned orders, catalog, customers, and customer service. We still need to delete carriers and stores and modify the static pages, the banner, slideshow, and the text block, the menu, and the footer. To delete default carriers, go to Shipping Carriers. From Bulk Action, click Select All. Again, Bulk Action and Delete Selected. Click OK and Done. To delete stores, go to Shop Parameters, Contact, the Stores tab. That's the information for one of these stores name, address, location, phone, fax, picture, and working hours. If you want to delete, bulk action, select all, bulk action, delete selected, OK, and done. Then there are those content that need to be modified mostly, not deleted. The static pages, the banner, slideshow, text block, the menu, and the footer. We will talk about these in separate videos. We are done cleaning the demo data after installing PrestaShop.